test question insulin and potassium. A patient is on an insulin drip. A chemistry panel is being drawn every four hours. What do you expect the potassium to do while on this drip? A. Increase. B. No change. Or C. Decrease. What's your answer? If you answered C, decrease, you are correct. Now let's talk a little bit about the insulin and potassium question. Now, insulin is a hormone that is actually produced by the pancreas. Insulin is like the key that unlocks the cells to allow nutrients or glucose to enter. Insulin helps get energy to the cells. When you need glucose, you need energy to be able to get the muscles and tissues to do what they need to do. When you have insulin resistance or lack of insulin, as in diabetes, this key doesn't work. Now, you may have heard of DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis. This is a life-threatening acute metabolic complication of diabetes. Now, some individuals with diabetes develop DKA, unfortunately, whether from infection or dehydration or many other reasons. These are just a couple. One of, now, one of the main characteristics of DKA is an absolute deficiency of insulin in the body. Now, the body's normal source of energy is usually from glucose from the foods that we eat. Now, insulin helps the glucose get to the tissues in the body so that we can do the things that we do every day, like running, chores, and even thinking. And when there's an insulin deficiency, the body's not able to get the glucose where it needs to go. Thus, the body does not have enough energy to do what it needs to do. So the body actually relies on other, another source of fuel. In DKA, the body starts to actually break down fat for fuel, and the body becomes acidotic because of this. Now, ketones is a fuel that is a product of fat breakdown. When DKA happens, fats are basically broken down too quickly, and ketones build up in the bloodstream, and that causes the body to become too acidic. The body basically likes to run at a pH between 7.35 to 7.45. Anything that changes that, the body has to compensate for that. The body doesn't like it to be abnormal like that. Now, when an individual has DKA, they need to be placed on an insulin drip. Now, let's talk about the relationship between potassium and insulin. Now, nearly all patients with DKA actually have a total body potassium deficit. This is usually from urinary losses and hyperaldosteronism. Now, you may be wondering, when you've seen a DKA patient before, you may have noticed that they actually have hyperkalemia when they first come in. Now, this is usually because of the insulin deficiency and hyperosmolality. Both of these abnormalities can cause potassium to actually move out of the cell and into the serum, into the bloodstream. Now, when insulin is given, the potassium actually can drop very rapidly so that's so that's why it's so important to be checking a chemistry panel every four hours now the normal potassium is usually between 3.5 to 5. just a side note magnesium and phosphate should also be checked as well because those also can um, decrease so. some of the signs and symptoms of hypokalemia. They usually occur when the potassium is under 3, and if you can just remember that they're usually musculoskeletal and cardiac related, those are the main systems that it seems to affect. Um, specifically with cardiac related, we worry about EKG changes. Um, often we see T wave changes. Generally the T wave becomes inverted or has uh, depression. And so in other words, they become smaller. And then you have U waves that actually become more prominent or elevated. Now obviously this is a major concern because these changes in the EKG can actually throw patients into life-threatening arrhythmias. And of course, you know what this machine is. We don't want to have to end up doing some ACLS on them. Now there's some other signs and symptoms such as hallucinations, confusion, numbness, and tingling that can also come with hypokalemia. So these are just a few symptoms. Well, that ends our video for the day or our question for the day. Hope you enjoy. Hope you learned something for this. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe.